Hey guys, today I'm very much excited to share one topic, but this topic, usual people talk about credit cards as if everybody knows what is credit card and building credit history. But this topic is about how immigrants can get credit cards and build their credit history in the United States. And in very important question will be why immigrants need to build their credit history in the United States of America. Because I'm an immigrant. I came from Africa. I came from Tanzania in particular to the United States of America. Where I grew up, we don't have what is called a credit card. We don't have credit history. So all those things, they are foreign to me. So I came to America and no one told me and I didn't know much about this building credit or credit card. So you end up doing a lot of mistakes. So my point to you, either you are already in America as immigrant, doesn't matter where you came from, doesn't matter whether you're from South, Af South America or you're from other country, Northern America. It doesn't matter whether you are from Mexico, you are from uh, Canada. It doesn't matter whether you are from South America, you are from Guatemala, Brazil, El Salvador, whatever country you are coming from, whether you are from Nepal in Asia, you are from uh, China, you are from Japan, it doesn't matter where you are from. Or if you are my colleagues from Africa, it doesn't matter whether you are from Senegal, Ghana, Whatever country you are coming from, it doesn't matter. But as long as you come here, there are principles of life here. There are principles of to be able to succeed. So this one of the principles is how you can get your credit card and how you can be able to build your credit history. The life in the United States is a little bit different from the life we grew up, the life we know from our origins. Many countries don't have credit card and credit history is the basis of survival is the basis of how you can be able to buy anything how can you be able to get any kind of loan so let's get into it my name is Ernest Boniface Makurilo EBM scholar myself the founder and the CEO okay before we continue remember to subscribe click the button here so that and click the bell get the notification wherever I post these videos Again, remember at the end of this video, I'll put some suggested videos which are related to how you can be able to succeed in America. How can you be able to get the opportunity to come to America? Whether it's through a visiting visa, whether it will be through getting uh, scholarships, whether it's through applying for the green card lottery or green card by marriage. Whatever it is, there are so many opportunities I'll be putting as suggested videos. So, let's get into it. One of the things which is very, very important is credit card and the credit history you are in america if you're in america or you want to come to america at one point you needed to get apartment you needed to get a car you down the road you want to buy a home you want to get any kind of loan so in the end they are going to check are you a trustworthy person can we trust you that if you give you an auto loan, you will be able to pay back. Just let's go back to the basics. When I was growing, growing up, I mean, you were in Africa, or you were in South America, you were in Asia. You want to borrow money from your friend. But all the time, when you, you go to borrow the money from your friends, you, from friend, friend one, friend two, friend three, you don't pay back. Do you think if you go again to another friend, they will give you the money? Hell no. They will not give you the money. Why? Because they know this guy, if you pay him, you, you, you borrow the money, he's not going to pay you back. We know you have those kind of friends. But there are some friends, if you, they say, okay, you, you give them the money, I'll give you after five days. They'll pay you back. Exactly before five days or on the fifth day, or the day you agreed will be able to pay you back. So those people, when they are going to give you the money back on the agreed date, those are trustworthy person. So they are likely to be getting more money anytime they come to ask for money. But those who they say, oh, can I have the money? You give them the money. And the day comes, oh, you know, my wife is sick. You never know. Uh, we just have the baby. And it was over, over a sudden. Having a baby is not over a sudden. It's a nine-month pregnancy. So, 
those kind of friends, in the end, you don't get someone to borrow you the money next time. So that is just like a simple credit card in America. It's the same thing. You go, sorry, you go to the bank. The bank will give you the money. The company A will give you the credit card. But if you don't pay back, they not. Okay. So you come again and say, no, 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 no. You are not a trustworthy person because you are credit history. You are credit to worthiness net someone to trust you your trustness is going down so that is a credit card yeah so i will be reading some of the quotes here so one says is getting a credit card means you you have to start to build your credit history and it shows that your credit report that you have an account and no late payments but if you really want to start credit, you have to, you really want to create your credit history, you have to use a credit card. Because if you want to go to any apartment, most of the good apartments, they have to run your credit history to, to prove that once you will be living here, you will be able to pay our rent. No late payments. So they'll check your credit history. When I came to America, I was doing certain mistakes. One of the mistakes is you want to pay everything, you use cash or use your card, you swap debit card, you just pay. That is not helping you at all. Why is it not helping you? Because life on cash, like the life we use cash in Africa, is not helping you to build a credit history. So, there are ways you have to do one of the way is to get the credit card. So let's go. Credit card is just a card where the bank, or it can be a store like Target, or it can be a store like, I'm giving example, Kohl's. Any other store can give you their card. That card is loaded with a certain amount of money. There are some they have restriction if you can take a cash from that one. But if you take a cash from the credit card, there is a bigger fee. But in most cases, you want to use it from their store. But certain credit card, you can use credit card whenever you want to purchase anything. Like if it's a credit card from the bank. So it can be, if you're an immigrant, they don't give you much at the beginning because you don't have anything. So they'll give you maybe 500 So it doesn't matter whether your credit card has 1000 500, 1 million credit limit. It doesn't matter. What matters is how are you going to use that credit card? So the first mistakes which people we are doing, no one is telling us as immigrants when we are here that, okay, you have this credit, this is how you build your credit. Remember, you come in America, you are late already. You are 25 years old. You are 30 years old, you are coming here. You are already behind the time. While another American born in America, at the age of 8, age of 10, age of 15, already the parents have already started the credit card on the name of the children so they can be able to build the credit history. At the age of 20, someone has the perfect credit score. While you, you are at the age of 30, you are in America for the first time, you have never used a credit card. So technically, you have zero. You, have, you don't exist into the credit history life of the United States of America. So you have to go fast. So as I said, when they're going to look, they're not going to look like, okay, you are given 1 million credit limit. You are given 10,000 credit limit. It doesn't matter. The point is, even if it's 500, how are you trustworthy with that money? So number one is to use that card. But when we say use that card, don't do a mistake over spending on that card. Don't use over 50% of the card. So if you have 500 credit limit, never go, number one technique, never go more than 50% of the card to use it. Because the card will be 500 and we're told monthly payment is maybe $25. That's how it is. So if you are using the card, my suggestion Never use more than 20% of the card. So if it's 500, just go there and buy candies. Buy small things, maybe $10, $15, $25. And make sure on a monthly payment on the day you are supposed to pay that card. Before that date, don't go late. Before that date, you have to pay.
So if they tell you your minimum payment is $25, that's the minimum payment, pay more than $25, even if it's $26, even if it's $1 more, the computer will detect that you paid on time and the computer will say you have paid beyond more than the monthly payment minimum. That's how you, you trick the system. So you are going to, okay, this person has been paid more than minimum. So even if a minimum is 25, you pay 26. Is already a computer is knowing this person? Oh, remember, is, you are dealing with a computer, so you have to play the game. So that is number one thing. Don't spend more than 50% of the credit card. But my advice, don't go more than that even more than 20%. Use the credit card just to build credit history. Don't use the credit card to go to the movie theater with your girlfriend. Don't use the credit card just to go there and just enjoy the very dinner at the fancy restaurant. No, don't go on date using credit card. Use the credit card to build the credit history. We did all those mistakes and it costed us big. So don't do that mistake. In the end, it doesn't matter much how much money you have is cash. It comes how much credit you have. If you want to buy the home, they don't want to hear about cash, how much money you have. They will tell you credit history. Are you a trustworthy person? They look on the credit history. Number two, I told you about spending. Number two, don't go on late payment. We usually, we are here, oh, they are not coming to me to do what, like, they are not, they can make a phone call like you are, you are late, like, but even if I don't pay, I use, like, they give me 1,000, I'm using all 1,000, I'm an international student, I can just go back to my home country, they don't catch me, whatever, so you can disappear, yes, you can disappear, remember, everything's linked to your social security number. So they are going to put it over there on what we call collection. So when you do it with the collection, what does that mean? If you're on the collection, there are companies, their job is to call you to follow up on the collection. The collection stays on your, each collection will stay on your credit history for seven years. So don't play with this one. Your credit history is very, very important. So you make sure that you are not on the collection. Again, I said you need to have a credit card. I didn't say you need to have credit cards. This is the mistake which I did. If you go, for instance, to the Target, they'll give you a credit card. You go to maybe to another store, they'll give you another credit card. You go to US Bank, you can apply for credit card, but don't, or oh, sometimes you can get those uh, offers from, the, the, from, you, from your mail that, okay, you have been pre-approved for this maybe 2,000 credit card, whatever, from this company. The point is, don't have too many credit cards. It doesn't matter how many. You can have, maybe maximum have two. And you are using those for building credit history. Now you have the credit, uh, credit card on your name. Don't go wild and start spending. And don't apply many credit, credit cards. It's just like, let me give like another thing. Like, okay, as I said, I give the example at the beginning, like, don't go to borrow money to your friends in Africa. Like you are going to friend A, friend B, friend C from like they know that if you come, oh, this person is coming to borrow money from me. The more you apply for credit card is what they call if you apply for a loan, credit card, those kind of things, they come to what we call the hard request and the soft request. So hard request, they are going the more you apply for so many credit cards, they are going to put a question mark. Is this person reliable? So it is on your credit history. Has it applied to 10 credit cards in a month? This person is not reliable. Is a red flag. Is going to lower down your credit score. But if the company, let's say one company is going to check your credit history, like landlord, employment, they are checking your credit history. It is easy. That is called soft. It doesn't affect your credit score. Or when they say you have been pre-approved, they send you an offer. But that is not... A hard, hard request. So that is a soft request. So soft request doesn't affect you. What is affecting is you giving them permission. So hard request is triggered when you apply for a credit card, you apply for a mortgage, you apply for auto loan, you study for a student loan, you apply for business or personal loan, all those are going to be triggered. You give them permission to check and prove that one. So if you have a bad credit history, you cannot get, get good jobs, especially the federal jobs. They do background check. 
They know this person is not trustworthy. This person will be easy to be compromised. So build your credit history. Don't have too much late, late fees, late payments. Don't have collections. Don't apply many credit cards. Just have one, maximum two. Even if they tell you, okay, you've been pre-approved, don't be tempted to go and, okay, okay, so let's give me this credit card and start spending, sending money to your country in Africa. No, 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 no. This is the game. Build your credit. Send the money using cash, but don't start spending everything using uh, something like that. Again, uh, there is another way on how you can be able to uh, help your friend, I mean, to get the, on the credit score very, very fast. One of the ways is uh, to be uh, a co-signer, I mean, to be part of just like a joint account owner. If I can apply for credit card, let's say you are, for the, this applies for people who are, let's say kids, a parent is having a credit card, is putting a joint owner of the credit card is their child. That means the parent is using a card, the number, the payments is also affecting, is giving benefits to the child. But if you're an immigrant, don't jump and become a credit owner of another immigrant because, oh, my friend wants me to be in their credit card. Make sure that friend always pays on time. You have to know their credit history, first of all. Because if they're doing everything bad, it's affecting both because you are part of the uh, you are part of the you are part of the owner of that card, or you are you are authorized user of that card. So if there is anything bad, you are also part of it. So make sure that if your friend is going to be put you as authorized user of that card, so that you can be able quicker to build your credit history. Make sure that that friend has a very good credit history, pays on time, and has very few credit cards, things of that nature. And don't co-sign of anything of your friend by co-signing that if someone is going to get a, uh, a loan for the car, it doesn't have a credit, good credit history, so that you, I can go and co-sign like, okay, I'm like vouchering you, I'm going to sponsor you, but they will use also my credit card, my credit history to give you the loan. But if you because I've endorsed you and you don't pay on that one, it will affect me. So don't just just because, oh, we are friends, we are coming from, both of us coming from Sierra Leone, we're in the U.S., and let me just do this one. Make sure the person you are vouchering is the person you trust, a person who is responsible to pay on time because anything you do will affect you. So, again, uh, what other things you, are, you needed to do? Pay, ever, not ever credit card, if you, you have a rent, Pay all the bills on time, whether it is a water bill, whether it is an electricity bill, whether it is just a gas company bill, whether it is rent, anything bill, pay on time. Because if they report to you, you have late payment, even if it's just normal bills, it will go to affect on your credit history. Credit history, look all payments you are supposed to pay. You have a phone bill, you don't pay that is affecting you. You are here and you want to jump. Let me go back to my own home country and you don't notify that I'll be away and then I don't pay, I'm not coming back to America. It will affect you. So all those things are, are affecting you. If you're a student, you have a student loan, please use a student loan on loan on uh, on things related to loan. Uh, pay on time. Don't start using the student loan. Don't start using the credit card just for big spends. Just use small purchases. And the purchases which you needed to do, pay on time. So those are some of the tricks which you need to do. So don't come here and think that you are in, you are in Africa and they start doing all crazy stuff, going wild and doing bigger spending. Within a short time, your credit, sto credit score will go down, down, down. You'll not be able to get good uh, car loan. And if you get car loan, the mistake is in capitalism is if your bad credit history, they increase the, uh, the interest rate. So you'll get bad deals. If you have a very good credit history, the interest rate will be low. So you cannot get good 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 car loan. If if you get those one, interest will be high. You cannot buy a house. If you you have you buy have the house, the interest rate will be high. So just use the credit his credit card, pay the bill on time to perfect your credit history and to perfect your score. This is the game you have to win. Americans, majority of them, they have this kind of education from their parents, from their schools. Some of these ones, they know, and the parents help them to build. You come here very late, at the age of 30. You need to run. You don't need to go too slow. If you go too slow, 
you are going to be wiped off. You are coming to realize you are already 50, you have been in 10 years here, and you have already completely destroyed your, your, credit, your credit history. So, that is how immigrants can get a credit card and why immigrants need to build their credit history as soon as possible. You have no luxury of playing around with a credit card and credit history. There is a way you can be able to check your credit history. There is annual credit card card, whatever, his, whatever, it's annual for free. You get one. So there are two, three major companies, Xperia, whatever, TransUnion, whatever those guys, just go and read and then you can be able to pull one credit for free. You can check yourself what things you have made a mistake. If you don't have, and not having a credit history, is it still bad as if you have, you did, you have bad one because your number will be very low. And the lowest is your whatever, 350 going to 800, 850. So you have to build your credit history. So cash life doesn't help you. Avoiding them doesn't help you because you don't have credit. You don't have credit history. People need to trust you. You have to borrow money. You have to pay money to your friends to have a trust. You have to get trust from the capitalist companies. You have to get credit cards. You have to get loan. You have to pay on time. You have to avoid big spendings. All those things. Yeah. So, don't get credit cards. Buy a ticket to go to visit your uncle in Africa. Never. Don't get a credit card to go back to your country in Nepal. No. Credit card is for small expenses so that you can build and create that kind. But unless otherwise you have good money and whatever, pay on time and pay beyond the minimum monthly payment. Those are the tricks we learned in a big way. We did a lot of mistakes about money management. We did a lot of mistakes about this one. That's why many immigrants, we are late, we are getting old, and we don't buy homes on time because of these kind of things. You come, oh, I want to maybe to create, buy a home. You don't have credit history because you've been using cash. So these are the tricks you have to do as soon as possible so that you can be able to build your credit history. You can be able to succeed. So why did you come to America? I don't care what reason you have, but overall I know you came here to succeed. So be the best. Don't come here and be a number of failures. So that is what I want to show you. But again, here there are so many suggested videos on how you can succeed in America, how you can come to America, how you can be able to be the best in America. So thank you everyone. But remember one more thing before you leave on this video, subscribe to my channel, please. And hit the notification bell. I can be able to be more motivated to make more videos to share with you and you can be able to succeed. So whether you're in Africa, whether you're in Latin America, whether you're already here, this video applies to you. And this kind of education applies to people like you and myself. I wish I could know this kind of information before I came to America. So all the best, everyone. Remember to share the video with your family, friends, and anyone you know is interested to learn things of this nature. Okay. Goodbye, everyone.